Hey, hey, you guys, it's your girl Tanisha, and I am back with another mom video. This is episode three of Mom, Moms on a Mission. Here it goes. Today, I'm going to do things a little different. It's not going to be more of a certain topic, but it's going to be like a life update about what has been going on with me, what's been going on in the family and stuff like that, and how I've been dealing with things. And, um, yeah and i thank you guys for watching if you're new here make sure you press that subscribe button make sure you give us a thumbs up and make sure you're sharing this video with others all right so these last two two to three weeks for me and my family it's kind of well for me personally it's been more of like a blur like everything just been going so fast like we've been doing something and being busy or having to do something like every single day of the week and it's just been a lot going on but um yeah, that's why I'm here today, just to give you guys a life update of what's going on with me. In the past couple of weeks, um, we've been in like two car accidents. We needed a new battery for the car, and it's just like everything with the car is like going, is like going haywire. But I think more and more as I've been growing and in my faith and stuff, I just realized like, look, it's just a car and that like, even though we needed to get back and forth to work and things like that, if something were to happen, like we do have people that will be there to help us. But it's just like, man, like this is so temporary. Like, okay, on to the next thing, you know? And if it was for me, like maybe a couple of years ago, I probably would have started crying. I probably would have you know, been so bent out of shape because I got a dent in my bumper until it get fixed or somebody could have took our life, even though we're all safe and everything now. It just made me realize like how small things like that are. Everything is cool. The car is still running. We had the money to get a new battery. Okay, how do I react? How do I move on from here? And you try not to get in that little funk of like expecting something negative to happen. So I've been working better with that specifically as far as believing that the best is going to happen for me or like God is going to favor me to in this day and each and every day. And I just, I do thank God for his divine protection because in one of those instances, we when we did swerve, we could have caused another accident because of somebody hitting us and things like that, but that didn't happen. So, so I really thank God for that. Not to mention <laughs> this whole time, like, our washer and dryer was going crazy. This made me upset because I was like, look, like we paying this rent. Like, why can't y'all get the people out here? Like, when we need y'all to come out here, like two weeks, we going back and forth mopping up water because our washer and dryer is like leaking and things like that. And it's like, why should I have to take my money to go, you know, wash clothes at a laundromat when I have a perfectly good washer and dryer? I just need y'all to come out here and, you know, clean out the holes or whatever it was going on with it. It was just like little things like that where it was starting to get like under my skin but i started to realize like i'm exactly where i need to be at this present moment and sometimes it's hard to accept that why am i going through all of this like why like even though those things seem so small but when it starts to affect your everyday life you start to look at it a little bit harder i guess i can't wash clothes when i want to because i'm gonna have to sit up here and mop up this whole pot of water and stuff like that when i shouldn't have to do that like why is somebody gonna hit me why is my battery down right now all those things start to pile those small things start to pile up and pile up you kind of get frustrated what I'm starting to realize is that when you have that word in you and you see that vision, that long-term vision, like you have to realize like, yeah, I'm gonna go through some things. I'm still a human being. Like those things are gonna happen. It's just, how do I deal with it? Um, let's see what else happened recently. Recently, I went to a photo shoot with my big sis, Casey. Casey, the artist, make sure you guys go check her out on Facebook and Instagram. Like she's an awesome makeup artist. And I said, I did a photo shoot with her, uh, uh, maybe like a week ago i learned so much from even if we don't have nothing but a little conversation there's so much from her and like she really inspires me especially because like i was so nervous and like kind of insecure about all the attention being on me when we were taking the photos and things like that like i understand that i'm pretty but it's just like receiving those compliments all the time it's just like i don't know how to say it like it's like thank you like, okay all right okay i guess so like for me those compliments and attention is just something that i have to change about myself of being more open like yeah i am pretty like thank you like girl you know thank you <laughs> but it was a really cool experience for her to um practically beat my face <laughs> Just to be able to be a part of her portfolio and things like that and to see her growing as an artist. 
like it's awesome um i keep looking down because i got like this little list of things that i wanted to talk to you guys about oh also recently uh we dealt with a passing in the family my aunt sanya which is my husband's aunt which became my aunt when we got married um i just look back and think about how tenacious and how strong she was she was dealing with cancer for um 10 years because a couple uh like like three weeks ago and for me it's just been like like i'm like constantly thinking about her now when someone passed a lot of the times we sit back and reminisce like wow like you think about the memories and the times that you spent with them and every time i was with her she was always smiling she was always strong and she had this vibrant personality and her creativity was like out of this world and i think that's what really drew me into her she would forever be in our hearts and I just thank God for the opportunity to be to have been able to be a part of her life and for her to be a part of my life. Because a lot of like, especially with Faith, like Faith um, would see her every week, you know, at dance class and things like that. And when we told Faith, well, when we told our children in general, it was like, it was hard for them to realize like, we're never gonna see this person ever again. But from my point of view, it was hard for me to like be able to like, I guess, to be honest, like to comfort my husband. Like, cause what can you say to a person to make them, you know, feel comfortable with, like, I'm never gonna see this person again. Like, that was my aunt. And for me, it was like, since my grandma passed away, this was like back in 2010, um, when we got born again, it really changed my perspective on death and losing a loved one. Uh, when my grandma passed away, I took it really, really hard because I was really close to my grandma and like there's times now where I think about her and I might start crying, but that's only because of the memories that I have of her and knowing that I can't just pick up the phone to call her type thing or ever hear her voice again. My perspective changed because I knew that before she passed away, I made sure that she knew who Jesus was and that she accepted into her life which she had already had and i knew that she was a christian so she was going to heaven but then there was this other side of me like wow like god how could you do this to me kind of thing and take my grandma away from me because that was still that worldly part of me but now like looking back i don't want to say i'm numb to death it's just now i know that if the person is born again and they accept the christ into their life that they're going to heaven and what can be any better than that, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna miss this person. I'm never gonna see them again, but I know where they are. And I know that they're happy where they are, you know? Are right, So it's no need for us to, not that we don't mourn because we do. It's just like, there's no need for me to put on this big show and boo-hoo and cry and stuff all day long because I'm never gonna see this person. It, being born again made it easier for us to accept death and that it was different now than us when we were when we weren't born again I said all that to say like she she had an impact on my life and her strength and who she was and i really thank god for being able to have met her in this lifetime um i also i signed up for a summer braid workshop with braided rebel on instagram like i've been following her for like two three years now and like i'm so excited to expand my business lighthouse artistry if you don't follow me follow me at lighthouse artistry on instagram and facebook um i do crochets i do braids i do um some kinds of twists and now that i'm going to be taking this braiding class i will be learning how to do the knotless box braids i'll be learning how to do the corn rolls and stitch braids and things like that and i'm really excited because i know the increase that's going to come for my business and i've been praying more for my business and i've been seeing the increase in my business like at the beginning of the year i had a goal and a vision for my business i've been tripling quadrupling those numbers having like a lot of appointments throughout the month and I'm seeing the increase in my business and I thank God for that because I'm starting to see how this lesson that we're learning about faith has tied into that and I see how God has given me the power to get wealth. I had the knowledge as far as like how to style different things and I've been studying on how to work with natural hair and i've been studying how to twist this way or how to braid this way to make it more to make it last longer and things like that so i've had the knowledge i saw myself having more clients because i got my schedule on track and i would speak those things out of my mouth about my business 
So I'm seeing how those aspects that we're learning and this lesson that we're uh, that my pastor is teaching right now, how faith is working for me in my business and how I need to do the same thing in my everyday life for other things that I'm believing God for. Oh, uh, right now I'm in the process of sending the kids work off for school so that they can have a summer break. Um, we started a month late last year. So we started in October instead of September. We should have been done like within the, six, the beginning of the six months, but we've been taking breaks and we've just had a lot going on as a family. And um, their time kind of like, I have a whole year to teach them if I want. But right now we're trying to wrap up everything so that they can have the month of August for a summer break. So I'm working on that. A lot of things have been going on. I've been using the steps in my like from my previous videos of how to stay focused and know that there is hope that there is an effect to end. And the scripture that I've been leaning on, you can see, keep moving forward. Something that I've been pushing myself to do this year. Um, the scripture that I, um, I've been leaning on is Proverbs 4.25. It says, let your eyes look straight ahead, fix your gaze directly before you. And that's out of the NIV version. I've been focusing on that because a lot of the times it can be easy for you to be like, this ain't going on. Like, this not going on, this not the way that I want it, this ain't the way that I want it. And you can start to fall back and get depressed because you're not where you want to be. But you have to learn how to be content with where you are and to know that you're going through these things for a reason. So like, I sit back and I'm like, keep moving forward to me. Keep moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Like you can do this, you're doing this, like you're doing it. I am adequate, I am worthy, I am righteous. I can do all things that I put my mind to and my heart to. Why? Because it's through Christ and I'm a believer. I can do these things, not too hard for me. Pretty much that's all that's been going on. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next Monday. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video with somebody else. And if you want more personal videos like that where I'm just sitting back, talking about what I've been through and how to get through those things, make sure you comment down below. Keep pressing forward.